While I don't have a meeting with them, because you're supposed to do that, I'm just gonna go see if they'll tell me where it is. <laughs> okay. All right, hello everybody. We are here in the EVGA suite at CES, day number one, and I am so crazy excited to be here. Um, I don't know exactly everything what to cover in here, but I figure what we will do is we will start off by covering some of the most exciting things. And the first thing we have here is the EVGA 1080 Ti Kingpin. This is a hybrid card. This is gonna be a card for extreme enthusiast overclockers. Um, I'm gonna get some more information on the MSRP of this thing on release in a little bit, but if you take a look at this thing, it is so badass. If you take a look underneath the fan here, right at the front, you're gonna see the most intense copper heat sink fins that you have seen underneath the chassis of the card. I mean, this thing literally goes all the way through to the back. I mean, the heat dispersion on this thing must be crazy because I cannot possibly fathom how powerful this chip is actually gonna be. But another really cool, interesting feature. It comes with its own display. So let's say you don't wanna load up your software to check how hot the card's getting while you're messing with uh, how much you wanna run it. We got the fan speeds, we got the pump speeds. It even, <laughs> it even flashes its own logo, which is so sick. But a lot of other cool information. You get the brand name, the bottle name, and on top of that, look at this. You get a little white LED strip. Cute. So far, a lot of cool <laughs> shit in here. I don't know if I'm going to cuss. So many cool things. But uh, let's go check out some of the other graphics cards. So, NVIDIA released them. Now we get to officially talk about them. So we'll see here the three different 2060 models that are being released by EVGA. This is the 2060 SC, 2060 XC, and then finally the 2060 XC Ultra. Now the difference with these cards is obviously going to be higher clock speeds coming right out of the box, but then also as you get up higher to the last model, you'll have the dual fans as opposed to the single fan chassis. Now one thing I really want to talk about here that's really, really interesting is the fact that the shorter stockier cards actually come with thicker, more widespread heat sinks to actually help with the cooling that the dual fan will provide for the bigger cards. And then the last couple thoughts on those cards, sorry, I gotta get going, my time's up. Um, they will all come with an eight pin power connector in case you're wondering how it's gonna be powered up and how you're gonna have to run cables to it when you have one in your rig. But uh, yeah, EVJ suite, so, so sick. Um, I will say the other, one other thing in there that was pretty cool was actually Jay's two cents uh, was in there, and uh, I must say, the second I saw him, I tried to, not to nut, um, but I will have to go home and change my pants. But, you know, happens. Anyways, moving on to the next part of CES. It's nerd paradise. Let's get it. Hi, how do we get to the Southern Hall? Just right here? Just right out of here? Okay, thank you so much. All right, so we already have our badge. Um, so I guess we're just gonna walk in and be pleasantly surprised. I'm excited. It's beautiful. Let's see if we can find a computer company that knows that I exist, maybe. And then let's see if we can get some video. For you guys, of course. Not for me, I don't wanna be here. So we're gonna go to Inwin first and we're gonna see what kind of cases or anything they have to surprise us with this year. Look how giant this case is. And then look how tiny this one is. It's so cute. Look at this. They even found a way to get some liquid cooling inside this bad boy. <laughs> Like, why do you even need this? Inwin obviously is a company, sorry, let me get the lights right, is that specializes in cases and the aesthetic. I mean, if you can't tell, that's so sick. I'm gonna cuss a lot this video. I'm actually just so impressed. But uh, I guess what we'll do here is we'll go around, I'll try to get some shots of the models and just show you guys some of the stuff that you can look forward to in the coming years, or I guess this coming year with Inwin. All right, so now I'm here at the Intel setup here at CS. I can't even call it a booth. I mean, this thing is massive. They've got all kinds of stuff set up here. 
They're showing off stuff that they're talking about for autonomous driving cars. They got their PC gaming section over here. And that's kind of the main thing we're going to focus on. So I apologize. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it to the keynote uh, speaker. I kind of touched on this before. There are some family issues I got going on, and I had to take care of that yesterday. But I, did, I was able to talk to someone here working at their uh, setup. And uh, they were able to tell me so a few things. They have announced their iSlick architecture coming up. There are no specific specifications from what he was able to tell me that they can release as of right now. But something that was very interesting that he also talked about is that they have plans to compete with AMD with their 2200G and 2400G processors, which if you don't know are processors that have integrated graphics, which means if you are using that kind of processor, you don't actually need a graphics card. You know. It's kind of a budget option and it's something you would use if you were trying to save money or just avoid using a graphics card in the weird chance that you have a power supply that doesn't have that six or eight pin VGA power connector. Um, but very exciting stuff. This place is absolutely amazing. Nothing hard hitting yet, but there are some more plans definitely for them to be uh, more competitive with AMD as they always do. I mean, it's always the battle between uh, blue and red and uh, I don't know. It's just overwhelming being here. I'm sorry I don't have more information. I wish I was a little less ignorant about this. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is so cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep it buck 50 with y'all. <laughs> I'll make it up a lot of this shit as I go. Um, I'm trying to find anything that's relevant for PC building or PC gaming, you know, parts, hardware, stuff like that. So right now, I'm actually heading over to the Gigabyte booth um, because the one they actually have here in the CES convention area is not for computer hardware, but most of these places have an extra suite set up. So while I don't have a meeting with them, because you're supposed to do that, go get a meeting and then go find their suite, I'm just gonna go see if they'll tell me where it is and try to show up. So, yeah. All right, time to interrogate. Hello, Hi. I had a quick question. Sure. Um, I was looking for the um, the booth or the suite that has the uh, computer hardware for Gigabyte this year. Okay. Do you know where that might be located? It's, uh, Caesar's Palace Hotel. Caesar's Palace? Okay. Uh -huh. Do you know what, what area? Because Caesar's Palace is a very big, I large know, hotel casino. I don't know where it's located. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me check it Okay, thank you. Do you know where in Caesar's Palace? Because Caesar's Palace is very uh, big. In the conference room. Conference room? Yeah, the second floor called PISA. P I S A. P I S A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ask and you shall receive. Okay, so Caesar's Palace, second floor conference room, P I S A? Something like that? Pisa? Maybe Pisa. I don't know. We'll see. There it is. I find you. <laughs> All right, so one thing I'm low-key trying to do is seeing if I can find that same laptop that stuttered at the NVIDIA <laughs> conference. Um, I know a lot of you guys were saying, oh, it was disconnected from the power. That's why it was blah, 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 blah. I get it. it laptop wasn't charging. It's going to stutter. Listen, this is CES, okay? I have higher expectations than a stuttering laptop during and uh, You know what? I just have high expectations, okay? But um, these are some of the 2080 chips um, or 2080 GPU chips that are gonna be in these laptops. This shit is so thin, bro. Like, this is, this is your slim, thick laptop. Slim in that, it's, <laughs> like, this is less than, like, half an inch thick. But thick in that, this shit's super powerful. I'm imagining we'll drop for around two grand. They have to, right? They're just too powerful not to, but they look sick. I love the little, I don't know if I love the Christmas lights, but, you know. They're cute. <laughs> Even Gigabyte showing off their new 2060s. But they have different models. They're going with OC, Mini ITX OC, and then Windforce OC. You know, so they're staying true to their brand's um, specific model names for the cards. Um, the only difference here is that Gigabyte's only doing one single fan 
and, or, and uh, whereas EVGA was doing two, but uh, Gigabyte's got two dual fan options for the 2060. Um, not sure what the clock speed differences will be here, but I'm assuming like before, you know, you pay more, you get more. Oh, and I missed this bad boy. Check this shit out. Ooh. Triple fan 2060. All right, so because I didn't have a meeting, I'm kind of just gonna guess at what a lot of this stuff is. I'm sorry, I know I'm not like a news channel, so I can't do this perfectly. But uh, anyways, we're looking at a lot of this new stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is the 2060, that triple fan one that they were showing over there. Um, I'm not sure what the clock speeds are gonna be, but I assume they're gonna be pretty impressive, probably around 1800 megahertz if I had to guess, because uh, that's what the highest model was at, um, at over at EVGA. And I know these places wanna stay competitive when it comes to sales. But this thing, which is really catching my eye, is this NVMe SSD right here. Using up um, a full PCIe lane, a PCIe 16 lane. This thing is, this thing is sexy, dude. <laughs> you can't even, there's no other word for it. Check this shit out, dude. Look at this. Hold on. I mean, you got a clean little Oris logo on the side. You bring this all the way down. Oh, nut, but actually full nut. Okay, so another thing in here that I didn't know existed before, take a look at that thing. Oris EPU cooler. This thing looks like it's competing with that Cooler Master 6 2PA. I don't I don't remember the model number, but that giant thick Cooler Master air cooler. And, I mean, it looks beautiful. I definitely use this in my system. That was cool. I got to actually find gigabytes. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know why all these computer places aren't just showing their hardware off in the main convention center. I know everyone would love to see this stuff. It's like hidden away, tucked in different casinos, hotel resorts, whatever. Um, it's kind of frustrating, but it makes it cool. It's like a little treasure hunt to find your favorite company and see what they're doing. But uh, awesome, so I think that's actually gonna wrap up my day one. Um, I know these thoughts were all over the place, but I said this before in like the first CES video, uh, the quality of these videos are not gonna be insane. And I know it's not gonna have the same entertainment value that I usually bring, but I promise you, after I'm done with CES and after I try to update you guys on this stuff as much as I can, I do have at least one, I have more than one idea, but I have at least one really um, good video that you guys will like to see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this entertaining or informative. My arm's getting tired in any way, shape or form. And as always, have a great day. <laughs>